I want to ask you one more thing. Okay. You made a conscious choice of bringing your own experience mm -hmm. and truth to each song on this album. For example, in your own words, you say, it's like when I sang Over the Rainbow. How are you going to fill Judy Garland's shoes? You're not. You pray for that space where you take your courage and bravery and walk in your own shoes. Right. Can you elaborate on that? Gosh, you're so good at this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just you. curious, but thank you. Well, thank you. I was, you know, it was f first, it was, it was such a privilege to be given the gift of being able to do the fellas. Yeah. This had been in my heart for decades. And, and while it is interesting to acknowledge the incredible performances by these men and how they comforted you or excited you or thrilled you, to, to know that I could have uh, to, my own version of fantastic arrangements to cushion these magnificent songs mm -hmm. allowed me to find my own way into these songs. Yes, there is an occasional riff I will do that Sinatra did mm -hmm. uh, in Night and Day. It's an allus allusion. Right. <clears throat> it's my nod to him. Mm -hmm. But the truth is you know, this torso, mm -hmm. this musculature makes its own sound mm -hmm. and my psyche and my experience brings my own inner world to these glorious songs. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm meeting these fellas at midpoint. You know, it's a conversation. It's my half of the conversation in response to their half of the conversation. Oh. So um, that's... That's what it is. Again, I, I walk in my own shoes mm -hmm. and paying tribute to them. Thank you for answering that. Ah, thank you for asking. <laughs>